Chris, it's, it's almost um, three or four weeks since you got the GCSE results. For a go-ahead school, is that sort of seen as historical now? Yeah, uh, uh, most definitely. Uh, obviously the GCSE results were great and gave us a great summer, but already now we're, we're, we're thinking forward and moving forward. Um, fantastic results, 79% including Mass and English, that was great. But already now we've set a target of um, you know, in the 80% for five eighths of the season, including Mass and English with the, with the current year 11. Because as an organisation we want to keep improving. Uh, and I think it's real possible uh, I really do think it's possible. Um, I think as a, an organisation you should always try to improve and if we get 80% that's still 1% improvement but we will continue to look to improve in, in every area. When we come into the school, especially after Easter, when the yeah. exam, you're coming up to exams, there's a real feeling that the whole school's in a zone, very mm. focused. Is that something you've nurtured and developed? Yeah, uh, uh, exams are crucial, they're really important and we want our students to get successful results. There's nothing wrong with that. Now. It's not just about grilling them for the exam, it's, it's, but it's giving them enough confidence and preparing them so they've got a chance in the exam in this national competition every year, which is obviously uh, what exams are, uh, that national competition. So yes, uh, you know, already now, you know, in plans we've got in place to, to look at what we did last year and improve it for this year, uh, to make sure that our students are prepared as much as they can be, uh, you know, very professionally, very efficiently, very effectively, so they can go in there and be successful again this year. Sixth form, what's the time scale for the sixth form? Well, sixth form is, is, is cracking on nicely. We are going to open next September. Obviously, the building won't be ready for next September. We've had a, a fantastic injection of, of money from the local authority and a, an injection of confidence as well from them, which is massively appreciated by myself, uh, which is great. Uh, we won't let them down. Um, we want to produce an outstanding sixth form. Obviously, we've got Mrs. Dillon, the head of sixth form, in place. Um, uh, you know what we're looking at this uh, month is is information this month and this term information to parents regarding the sixth form, sixth form development. Uh, children will start to apply uh, at the end of this term, January deadline, February. Uh, obviously, then we'll start to interview people. We're on full scale, and I think what's nice about the sixth form is you know Mrs. Dillon on Wednesday night had a a student body of about 20, 25 students actually sitting around discussing what sort of sits all they like here at the school. It's a very much a, a very student voice type activity. But no, it's, it's going well. Uh, the curriculum, the first draft of the curriculum is in place. We've gone to the students, what do you want to do? Um, very much a good vocational input as well. Uh, you know, meeting the needs of the local community and the business community. No, it's going very positively. In terms of the building, uh, First start of work and building work will probably be about Easter time, okay, and, and hopefully then, um, most certainly during the course of the next year, uh, you know, the building will be, be completed as well. About the, the talk you gave to parents and the impressions given the sixth form is, I think you said, you're within, within Spittenden's Canary Wharf and you want to have a business-like approach. Yeah. You still maintain that? Yeah, and I, I think schools, as always here at the campus, we're very much a corporate model in terms of our accountability systems in school. And I very much want this as part of the sixth form as well. Um, a very corporate model, um, look, business-like model, uh, you know, preparing people, also not just for Clary Wharf, but local businesses. If you look at the industry in Farrakh, a lot of the business are less than three, four people. You know, uh, people uh, showing fantastic entrepreneurial skills, earning their living, developing their business. Uh, and we want to prepare students for that. In the area, the, the, the massive, um, no doubt, the, the percentages of people working in small businesses or with ICT is really high and we want to make sure we're preparing a workforce for here but of course also for the city as well which a lot of people on Trafford travel into the city to work of course. And again we're in a new year, has there been a lot of staff changes or is staff very consistent? No, very consistent, uh, very consistent, um, you know, important about um, education is relationships uh, a lot of the staff uh, enjoy working here and staying for another year, which is really pleasing. Um, certainly, uh, you know, amongst middle leaders, we've had no change at all, um, really, apart from extra appointments in, in that area. Um, senior staff as well, I've got the same SMT, plus expanded as the school gets bigger and as the sixth form, so that's good. Um, fantastic new business manager, which is really useful and really helpful for the school, so that's excellent, Chris Emerson. So that's good, and we've also taken on a few people in areas, as the school gets bigger, in areas that are really important. So extra support for children with English as additional language, 
which is really important so the children get support when they come to the school uh, and that's great. And about the, the plans at Sixth Form and Development Corporation have yeah. green lighted for the outlining mm -hmm. but yeah. w will there be any, I guess one thing about Chaffinow is green space, where are the, where are the young people going to play sport? Well that's interesting because obviously uh, the area that we've got we've had to re redistribute a couple of playgrounds so what we've got to do is um, the area that's actually being built on at the moment actually children don't play sport on there at all uh, and, but there is a couple of playgrounds that we need to move across to the field which is obviously there's, there's plenty enough space on the field um, so we need to redistribute those and that will start to happen about Easter time. So the area of green space is really is an idle green space at the moment. Um, really pleased that the planning permission uh, went through very, very, if anything, there was only positive comments to um, the Thames Development Corporation. Kirsty Towley uh, was, was fantastic in helping us in the planning permission to make sure that uh, she had all the information there. She was absolutely uh, fantastic and the area will miss her and her skills in, 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 in that sort of like planning permission sections and, and those sort of areas went through very positively. I think when we decided that we wanted a sixth form as a school and everybody decided, I was surprised by how much local support there would be for such a development. And I'm continually surprised, to be honest, uh, because the, the support is growing and growing and growing and, um, uh, and now it's helping us to, to keep the momentum flow, you know, flowing forward for such a, a fast improving school. But again, culturally, and finally culturally, for a long time there were the 10 senior schools, Thurrock Tech, Palmer's College. It now seems to be almost a revolution with Anglia Rustin, South Essex College, UEL, uh, and even when we interviewed your students after GCSEs, one student said they got off to Chelmsford. You know, there's, there's a, it's a big market, isn't it? It's massive, yeah, it's massive. <coughs> Excuse me. And students coming out of Borough into Thurrock as well, which is really important. I think it's great. I think it's, you know, when we talk about corporate model, I think this is free market. Okay, and I think in the end what will happen is, is standards will improve and organisations in, in terms of increased better competition will have to up their game and I think in the end only the residents, the children and the parents of Thurrock will benefit from this. Um, you know, we've set out, we will offer something different as a sixth form, we will be a school with a sixth form, not a huge college, uh, you know, uh, not a huge college and there's some outstanding institutions out there but we think we can offer something different, we think we can offer something personalised and individualised we will do it in the campus way. Uh, already last week the students were saying they almost want a uniform for their sixth form, which is quite ironic, you know, uh, in, that, in that respect. So, uh, you know, we very much uh, delivered in the campus way. We've, we think we've got a unique brand here, uh, if you're looking at a corporate model, uh, and I think we will help and be part of a very successful picture for the local area to drive up standards at 16, 17 and 18, which is, is much needed.